the song. Superintendent Jones, you talk. If, if I were to give you three names of parents, teachers, and students, who would you list as the top of that list, the second in the list, and the third in the list here at CCSD? How, how would you prioritize those, and what are some actions you would show to, to, to prove that prioritization? Yeah, that's a, that's a difficult question because all three are really vital and important, but at the end of the day, I think students are at the top of the list because we're in the student business, and so ultimately, we serve students. I need the teachers actually to really perfect their trade to actually serve the students well. So teachers are, I don't know if they're second or tied for second because I also need the support of the parents and the insistence of parents that we make sure that we're supporting their students well. So that's a pretty good question, Ken, and all three are important, but I'd have to put students at the top of that list. Mm -hmm. and, and the way you talk to the audience of, of downsizing and and, uh, and and things like that. Would, would you talk the same way to unions, or, or what? Especially to the teachers union who feel very, you know, very alienated. What what would you tell them? Because you said you're very supportive of, of the governor's plan. What would you tell them to help them feel that they're not out of the equation? Um, and and they're so demonized in in, in many ways, especially by people, you know, uh, who are looking for budget cuts. How would you? What would you tell them to? be a part of this of this new plan of Colorado growth and things like that. What would you tell them? Yeah, a couple of things, Ken. First of all, I haven't been tailor-making comments for certain groups. I've been pretty consistent in my comments, and I have had conversations with the teachers' union. Actually, the teachers' union is supportive of the growth model because most teachers are not afraid of accountability. They just don't want a system that's not fair. And the growth model takes into account where a student starts, and then the teacher and the principal and the superintendent is accountable for the growth of that student. So I think teachers are willing to say, I'm okay with you actually saying we want to improve the system. I just want the system to be fair. Next, teachers are going to be our most valued asset. So I want to, whatever downsizing I do, I want to try to reinvest as much as I can in support and training for teachers, because at the end of the day, us improving achievement for all of our students happens in the classroom. It doesn't happen at central office. So I think teachers ought to be really excited about the new message and the possibilities that they're going to get the kind of support and staff development and training that they really need to deal with the youngsters that are coming through their classroom doors every day.